Hey everyone, welcome back to Aegis Moto Adventures. Today I'm going to do a review on Aluma trailers. Uh, the particular model that I purchased recently is the 6810H. Uh, that basically means it's about 68 inches wide and 10 feet long, and it's a heavy duty version. I'm going to start out with some of the little nitpicks I have about it, and then the wish list that I wish they had put on this trailer, and then just give you an overall view of how well this trailer is. My first little nitpick are the welds. It appears that they used a uh, MIG welder um, instead of TIGging. TIGging would be pretty the preferred method uh, for welding aluminum. And the welds here along the deck uh, to the sidewall, uh, they just uh, tacked it in with the uh, real small weld here. Uh, the weld itself is probably functional, it'll, it'll probably hold. Um, but it's uh, not the best uh, looking uh, weld, nor is it, uh, and there's some of them that have some pitting in it. But if you look along the trailer, you'll see that the next weld for the deck is clear up in the corner. So we're talking a span of about four feet here, uh, that there's no welds. It looks like uh, they put the trailer together just as efficiently as they possibly could without putting a, a, a real good row of uh, tack welds into the deck. There's no uh, question uh, that the MIG welds will be functional and hold. It's just that TIG welding uh, makes for a stronger joint. Another feature uh, that baffles me somewhat is, is they left a gap in the center support of the trailer uh, in front of the axle. Now it appears to me that the reason they did this is if I uh, pan back a little bit, they went to a smaller tube to make sure that they had clearance above the axle. Uh, but it would have been nice if they would have went ahead and joined the center section. Would have just made the uh, trailer just a little bit more uh, stiffer and uh, that way they uh, would carry the load just a little bit better. And you're talking a uh, cut out there of probably about uh, three and a half, four inches. Uh, so that would have been easy for them to uh, splice that together with uh, some type of weld and reinforcing. So on my wish list, uh, one of the things you can see that in the back of the uh, trailer they have a uh, mount uh, that allows you to strap to and then if I pan up to the front of the trailer they have a uh, mount there that also allows you to strap. Uh, there's two on each side. I really wish that they'd have gone ahead and put like four of those on each side of the trailer. That would be my wish list. Uh, it would have been nice that they would have gone ahead and just gone ahead and put extra strapping locations on the sides of the trailer. Another thing that would have been nice too is there's no recessed, uh, as you look up and down the trailer here, there are no recessed uh, pop-up uh, tie-down uh, locations and it would have been nice that if at least uh, toward the uh, back of the trailer and uh, at the front of the trailer they would have added a recessed tie-down uh, place to strap to. One more part of the wish list would be you could see they put these stake pockets uh, again there's uh, two to a side there's one right behind the fender well and then up front here there's a uh, another stake pocket it would have been nice again if they'd have added uh, four stake pockets to each side of the trailer that way uh, if you're going to uh, go ahead and turn this into a uh, um, box trailer uh, to carry loads uh, like if you wanted to haul uh, dirt or gravel or something like that in a light load for just a uh, private homeowner use that would have made it a lot easier to put sides and if you look at the front of the trailer here you will notice uh, that there are no stake pockets so in other words if you wanted to box this trailer in uh, just by uh, making a box yourself out of uh, wood you would have to do something to reinforce the front of this here a little bit in order to put that uh, front on there this particular Aluma trailer has a uh, two inch hitch with a uh, swivel 800 pound rated uh, jack stand. One of the great features about this trailer is it's been wired with LED lighting. They have uh, side markers just in front of the uh, stake pocket 
and they have side markers uh, on top of the uh, fender wells and then a side marker on the back here which uh, changes from yellow to red in the rear uh, with your standard lights in the back that are LED also. Uh, this is just a phenomenally great feature for this trailer. Another must-have feature for me in purchasing a trailer was a torsion axle and if any of uh, you might not be familiar with what a torsion axle is it basically is is that the axle itself is encased in a hard rubber uh, inside another tube and uh, the twisting action is what causes the uh, cushioning action instead of like a uh, leaf spring that you would have on a typical trailer in this particular case this is a 3500 pound rated uh, torsion axle from uh, Dexter uh, that is just a super super feature and it allows you to get the deck a little bit lower to the ground than if you were losing uh, leaf springs on the trailer. Another nice feature of this trailer is it comes with a uh, 14 inch uh, wheel. Uh, that's a huge advantage in having the larger size wheel. Helps carry the extra uh, load uh, that you might put on here and since I'm carrying two motorcycles uh, that feature will come in handy. One of the things that sold me on this trailer is the heavy-duty ramp that they put on it. Uh, this ramp is long enough uh, that it's easy to get the motorcycles on and off uh, the deck of the trailer. And uh, it's just built uh, extremely strong to carry the weight. Um, it also is easy to use. They've got used just uh, hitch pins here on this little uh, strapping here to hold it in the upright position. Just pull the pin pull out the hitch pin and uh, you can lay it on the ground and because it's lightweight and made of aluminum it's real easy to get up and down another nice feature that they did with this uh, that I didn't realize right at the beginning when I uh, purchased it but I realize now it appears they've made it they put some bump, bumpers here on it so that you can take this and uh, take it down to just lay it flat on the uh, deck of the trailer for storage that way that whole ramp is out of the way but still attached to the trailer great feature Overall, the Aluma trailer is very well built uh, from a production standpoint uh, versus a uh, custom trailer. Uh, this is a very nice trailer and has some super nice features. I particularly like, uh, as I mentioned before, the LED lighting, the torsion axle, and the 14-inch wheels, and the heavy-duty ramp. Um, those features make this trailer a little bit uh, over the top uh, compared to some of the other aluminum trailers that I was looking at. In this particular case, I got this trailer uh, from uh, TropicTrailer.com. Um, it's down in Fort Myers, uh, Florida. Uh, my particular salesperson, Gary, did a wonderful job. Uh, they gave me a very uh, decent price for this particular trailer. And overall, we're going to be uh, very happy with it. Uh, in typical Aegis Moto Adventures fashion, though, we will probably do some modifications to this particular trailer that suits our needs just a little bit better. One of the biggest advantages of an aluminum trailer over a steel trailer, obviously, is the rust resistance, but also this particular trailer, because it's aluminum, is so light that you can actually push it around by hand. Uh, you don't need to use a vehicle or a tractor or something like that to be able to move it. You can actually just grab the tongue, lift it up, and push it where you want it to go. I'd like to add that if you go to the Aluma website, my wish list uh, has been recognized by Aluma. If you look under the options, um, the uh, extra tie-down straps, extra uh, stake pockets, and uh, the hidden recessed uh, tie-down locations could all be obtained as an option. Uh, this would mean that you'd have to order uh, through a dealer somewhere a, a custom trailer for yourself, but all those options would be available for you if you so wished. Well, hopefully this video gave you a little bit of more information about Aluma trailers if you're considering purchasing one of these, and this review uh, helped you make your decision. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for information uh, concerning travel, motorcycles, and all the gear associated with it. Take care.